Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have created a level and we also set up our VR and it was working fine. So by default, we have made one game mode and our pawn. So it was looking like that. In today, uh, we will do the setting so we can get the bloom effect. By default, in the uh, VR setup, like the template which we are using, that bloom effect will not be there like even if you will you know uh, uh, give me a second let me show you what I'm talking about so this is a queue which we were using right and okay uh, I do want one more thing here I will copy this material so this is the material I will copy it and okay let's copy both of it will paste it here I will like uh, put this thing in the proper position but right now I just want to showcase what I'm doing here okay, so this is the parent class if I'm not wrong change the parent okay so these these are the material which we are using in this uh, cube I will just delete this one I'm I don't think we are using this so this is the cube which we are using in uh, level right now and here we if we will open the cube and if we will you know ignite the emission so I'm pressing one will convert it to the parameter emission power and we'll turn it to 50 we'll multiply multiply with this and we'll connect to the emission power click save okay right now you can see it is turning white and we have turned the glow color to blue so actually it should have okay give me check the material should be this Let's save same with this one okay now the cubes which we are using it is using this material but it is emissive so when I'm saying emissive it should give you some glowing effect like this so this is my POC version of the project right now it is looking like glow but here at our side it is showing just color right so we have to improve this so first is the project setting which we have to change go to the rendering setting it was kind of uh, very frustrating when I was changing uh, here and there so it might uh, it took a while for me to figure it out so what we will do we will compare all the values here uh, okay everything is same texture streaming mm. Okay, hardware ray tracing. Mm -hmm. Default setting. Yep, so these are the first changes which I can see here. Uh, first is mobile HDR, just turn it on. We will restart it afterward, restart later. Here, we do want everything on here. Okay go down do you want anything else no default optimization do we need anything mm. okay uh, I'm not sure we do want this but let's do it Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, one is support CSM level, no force. Do you want anything else? Nope. Okay. This is it. Just a restart. 
and there's one more thing actually which we have to do so uh, for that I need to open Unreal and in that Unreal I will open the default project uh, this launch and we will open one default project because right now if you will see uh, it is not giving us that effect which we were looking for okay we have the glowing here but it is not there in the viewport right you can still see the blue color it is because of that uh, ah i'm forgetting the name again post process volume okay here i'm just taking the this person just damn project just create it I'm just taking it for uh, just you to showcase it that is why I'm not putting the proper name to it so here if I will add the post process volume here right now when you will go down we have these options one option is like you can tweak the settings ocean blur uh, so I, I I will do one shortcut here like instead of going uh, with this post process volume and do the settings I will just delete it and will copy paste it from here we'll go post process copy will paste here so you can see now it is coming in proper close setting I hope it makes sense because just to have this setup in the process volume it 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 is it won't take much time but uh, i just want everything as default as possible so now it is uh, giving us that effect uh, like where we can it is more looking like uh, you know beat saver right okay there's one more thing uh, actually we will add the weapons so open unreal epic and we have in library or in marketplace you can find infinity and infinity weapons when you will search it is free so you can easily use them give me a second do we have them already so search for if I Yep, infinity blade weapon. Yep, I need uh, this sword just to play our game. Uh, you can choose any of them. So what you can do? So you can add this to the project. So you can just add to. I have already done it. So what I will do? I will open my uh, POC one, or I can show you how we can do it. I won't directly add it to uh, our project. I will just add it to the TAM project. A reason being is uh, because it will add up the whole asset system. I don't want that. I just want one chart, uh, which is this one, if I'm not wrong. You can choose any. Uh, actually, this is also looking good. Uh, we can see, like, so let's add if, if I'm not wrong, go to library, I think TAM project, double click. okay so this infinity blade weapons okay go to the maps first so we can see which one to choose you can choose any although i i was thinking to use this one but now i am i'm just thinking which one to choose uh, because in vr this one will look good i am just thinking uh, about it material too let me check its material hmm. uh, a second A 
if I will use is immersive value, how will it look? Give me a second. Just turn it to 50. It is glowing. Uh, I do want to lerp. Actually, let me choose this act. So, if I will choose this one, and in LERP, I will use this as alpha. It is not changing anything. Let me take the other one. Okay, let's do one thing. Here I can see they have this diffusion, sorry, uh, this pigment, which I can see this is particularly for this blade where I can see. So I will use one lerp. Again, we'll multiply it with color, which we do want to see. So pressing three, multiplying with it, with multiply with emissive power. Then we'll put it to emission. I think we will choose R. Is it 20? 50. Okay, right at zero. So let's turn it to blue. Yep. It's not glowing. Make it 200. Art is glowing. Below you have this handle. Okay, so if you do want to change the color, you can just double click here and turn it any color you want. We want red and blue, so you can use anything, but this can work for us. Yeah, it looks like that it can work. So just save it when convert this to parameter. Okay, but but the thing is I do want to use this blade. Okay, so I will just right click and go to asset, migrate. So in migrate, it will just select this sword and will, uh, you know, migrate it just this asset. That is why I don't want to add this whole package to our project so this is what a uh, small tweak which i always use so we are creating sync beat saber content and select folder and i think it's done change just click okay i think we haven't saved it just press cancel so i can copy this hole which we did okay here we have infinity blade blade sword double click it okay I can see that our changes are not there so I will just make a space control V and we copied the alpha from R so I will do the same and just check if it is working fine or not mission yes okay in k alpha yes here there are two changes which i do want to make right now i will uh, convert this to parameter which is color reason being is i do want to change the color of this sword next is this parameter emission power so right click convert to power emission power by default you will uh, make it 50 so it will glow but not as heavy as uh, other color like but you can tweak it according to your need so now 
we have the sort if I will place it here you can easily change it right a right click so am I blade blade sword you can just easily tweak the color maybe to blue go to that option change the color and check if it is looking fine or not it is looking great okay next thing is uh uh, right now this have the skeleton uh, and uh, the static mesh is more linear way like if you don't want any animation or you know any hard thing to do then use always a static mesh not the skeleton mesh reason being is I don't require any animation uh, skeleton is there I don't want that so just double click it and create a set okay we have make a static mesh and here I will choose the folder sm underscore sword okay here we have our sword just delete this uh, sing beat saber force delete we'll drag it here and it is working fine perfect uh, so I think we will close it here like I just wanted to show you how we can do that okay and one more thing now we have everything here we will just put everything uh, to its place so we will move texture to textures here move here same with the sword it's the static mesh here same with the materials move here right click always uh, click on fix up three direct traits and delete the folder so always try to keep uh, you know the content browser as clean as possible so this was it for today thank you have a nice day do like and do subscribe if you have any uh, doubt do let me know and i will try to solve it as soon as possible thank you and bye bye